How's it going, Gold Squadron community? As you guys know, for most of our content, we strive to make it family-friendly. For the six games of Swiss for the Ace Flight Club Championship, we are actually rating it as PG-13, aka not family-friendly. So if you are sensitive to either foul language or crude humor, I would suggest you not watch the Swiss games for this uh, if you are, again, sensitive to that. If you're fine with that and you don't have any issues, then hopefully you enjoy the game. Hello everybody, my name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round, not four, Lies of the Jedi on the table. Round five, change it live, of the Aces Flight Club Championship. If you don't know what the Flight Club Championship Series is, here's a basic rundown. We had qualifiers. Depending on how people did, they got a rank. These players here are Aces. That means that they got five to six wins in the qualifying events, and they're facing off to see who was going to be not only our ace champion but the ace champion is also the overall champion of the flight club series so congratulations to whoever that's going to be we'll find out we're going to have a top 16 tomorrow to find our champion uh and it is awesome to know that we got some of these new packs that are already impacting the results of um of our meta here really excited my friend darren granger is about to break down the squads and i'm going to open up the choose your champion polls go ahead hit it darren thanks very much dion so over on the left hand side of your screen we've got james ritter with the rebel alliance so he's got uh one two three four a wings and garvin so breaking those a wings down we've got harrison doula with vectored cannons, which is the new upgrade, uh, and the uh, tracer threads. Wedge Antilles with vectored cannons, because guess what? They are standardized, so you have to put it on all of them. We've got Jake Farrell uh, with vectored cannons, and Shara Bay with vectored cannons. And then we finally got Garvin Drace with Hopeful as the uh, t uh, talent upgrade. And then over to the right hand side of your screen, we've got Kenneth Lyon. Um, with Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, in the uh, Eta 2 Actus with Predator. And then we've got three Filthy Space Wizards, uh, which are the Jedi Knights in Delta 7Bs. Um, so it's an interesting, uh, interesting matchup we've got here. Um, Just your standard Space Wizard, you know? No, they're Filthy Space Wizards. But these are these are the these are the kind of the the lower end of the. Uh, a lower end of the spectrum. Don't have anything uh, fancy. All righty. Well, right now, looking at the initial polls, people are excited about those A-Wings. 72% of our Choose Your Champion participants are betting right now on James Ritter. Uh, by the way, shout out to James. James is uh, one of our GSP crew. He's a part-time producer, part-time commentator, part-time... Just kind of do random stuff that Dion needs done. So, uh, you know, I am going to do my best to be unbiased. But the thing is that Kenneth Lyons also part of the fam. So really, this is just people I love battling it out to see who gets to uh, who gets to keep that record right now. Now, Jonah, what are their uh, their records right now in the event? uh let's see um while i pull that up yeah both of these players are my friends and people who i play often so i'm uh really i'm, I'm torn but uh kenneth lyon here um is three and one okay um and james ritter is also three and one I believe let me double check on james is yes three and one as well so chances are whoever loses this possibly takes himself out of uh, contention for top 16. Yeah, it depends on the MOV because with the number of people that we had, normally you would actually have a top 8. Because we're extending it down to a top 16 for a cut, 
you have a better chance of getting in at four and two, but it is a battle. It depends on really where they are ranked wise, which you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take a peek at the current ranking since we don't have any games completed. This will really give us a good, a good view of where they sit. Uh -oh. But yeah, you're right. Normally, uh, uh, with this number of players, it would be a top eight game. But hey, this is the DM show. DM does what DM wants. That's right. No shame in that. Hashtag 75 minute final, baby. Yep. Yep. If you're going to break some rules, you might as well break them all. <laughs> Interesting that Garvin's taken a target lock on the. Uh, on the gas cloud, I don't think there are any jam shenanigans on the uh, the Republic side, so uh, might just be habitual, yeah. you know. Just yeah. to make sure they have it out there. By the way, rankings wise, check this out. Currently, James is ranked tenth, and Kenneth is ranked eleventh right nice. now. Currently, separating them is looks to be sixty MOV. Or, sorry, 70. 70 MOV. So, you know, about about a ship and a ship and a half or two ships, depending on which side you're looking at. But uh, pretty interesting there. Now, as we continue commentating on this game, want to remind you that today all of our coverage is brought to you by the upcoming Galactic Championship Series. First event is May 1st. All of the dates and tickets are available now for purchase, including our lim <coughs> excuse me, including our limited run target locks. There's only a hundred per event, and um, I would expect those to to sell out as they continue going. Um, at the end of the day, I will go ahead and I just kind of take a peek at see where things are. I know some people were wondering like how many are left because you're trying to gauge demand, right? I totally get it. Thank you to everybody who has already committed to playing and or just supporting the cause. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't checked out the prizes, it is absolutely amazing. Exclamation point galaxies in the chat or go to goldsquadronpodcast.com or click the link in the description below to check out the prizes, events. So you know, hey, when when are you going to get to watch some awesome streams and, uh, and just know when the competitions are happening. The culmination event is in November, the first weekend of November, is the actual Galactic Championship where we bring the top 32 from each of the qualifiers in. And by the way, I know a lot of people were wondering, do the uh, do the invites roll down like they did last year? And the, app, the answer is yes. If somebody wins an invite in Moncala and they play in six other events, it doesn't affect you. At least it doesn't affect your eligibility for getting into the Galactic Championship uh, final event because the invites do roll down in that event by the way there was some confusion last year it rolls down so we're trying to we want to make sure that that galactic championship is 100 percent full every seat is used and by the so way great. got a sh got a shout out really quickly here to tyco 1707 fell septo and kelliana for uh combined giving what what looks to be around 20 subs thank you guys so much for your support i have just bought a ticket to dagobah there you go which means i am not available for commentating that weekend deal all right i'll <laughs> noted <laughs> just gotta Come go on, get the I dub just, just want to let you guys know jake failed the boost to the left um and james is very surprised Jake. That, that, yeah, I'm surprised by that as well. It uh, has to be guess, by, by a nub. Yeah, by a pixel. Because uh, he did use the, uh, the two temp, uh, the, the movement template to um, position his ships mm -hmm. when he was deploying. Um, it looks like he might have just been a little bit off. Because, yeah, the, the tessellation of the, uh, the bases. Um, is always interesting. And that's oh. an actual word, tessellate. I, I did that. that. That's a $5 word. I like it. I also just noticed that uh, on the Gold Squadron podcast uh, Facebook page, the, uh, the banner still has me and Acer there. 
Yeah, I mean, that's an awesome picture. Absolutely awesome picture. Well, it looks like uh, Jake taking advantage of, uh, you know, saying, you know what? I know that I bumped last time on that boost. I'm going to give myself a little bit extra room. Now, before we get engaged uh, too quickly here, I do need to uh, t step away for one quick minute because we're about to get into it. Jonah, step in. Dream team. Sounds good. <laughs> captain and co-captain. That's right, first mate. <laughs> All right. So oh, Ooh, James is there. upset again. Uh, well, not upset, but he's surprised again. All right, maybe the pings show that he's a bit distraught there. Um, geez, yeah. And that's one of the things that I find with... Um, so I'm quite meticulous when I set up um, mm -hmm. on the tabletop. And that's one of the things that I found with TTS. Very difficult to do with the, um, the tools you've got available in terms of setting your ships up. Right. Um, to, to not bump when you're doing... Because when you're doing the, the straight maneuvers and the hard turns it's fine but they mm -hmm. when you do the bank maneuvers like that if you've not got them set up properly then uh, it means that you have to start to do kind of increase or decrease the speed of the ones that are inside or outside of the wheel and things like that so it gets a little bit tricky at times yeah i i wonder how this is going to affect james going into the next turn because um you know i if, if shara didn't bump what would she have done? Would she have tried to um, barrel roll? Like, what did it really keep her from, is is my opinion, or is, is my question. Yeah, I don't think it really stopped her from doing anything from a, from this turn point of view. I think the more important one is probably Jake, because mm -hmm. with him not being able to do that boost, he's now out of position as to where he wanted him to be. I agree. Um, the thing, the, the challenge he's got, though, is... Um, with Wedge being slightly further ahead than where these others are, wouldn't be surprised if we saw kind of a um, a move to uh, move the arcs behind using the uh, the vectored cannons. Mm -hmm. Vectored cannons, baby! New meta? Question mark. Nah, it's a it's a trash card. <laughs> well, I already got Harris pointed backwards. Who knows? I think he knows what he's doing with this. He's ready to go. It's a trash card. He's wrong. By the way, shout out to Lanbolo13. I, I think I came just in time to see that. Thank you so much for gifting five subs there. Has gifted a total of 337 subs to this channel. I, I want to say, you know, it is amazing to see the continued support from people across the community. Whether you've done Patreon, whether it's just been, hey, I've consistently clicked that Twitch Prime uh, every month. Like, it really makes a big difference. The whole studio getting set up and paying for all that, uh, like, it is all done with the money that you guys have have put together here. And it is, it's awesome being able to, to, to be willing to take the risk of, of making amazing prizes for Galaxies and not knowing who's going to sign up. You know, all that, it's... You guys give me the confidence to do it, so thank you so much. All right, so looks like right now we are waiting on Hera's dial. That's the one that James is flip-flopping just a little bit. He took the opportunity to flip the, the arc. Now, did you guys talk about the timing on the uh, vectored cannons on when you can rotate? We absolutely did not. So that happens during the system phase. Do note, you cannot... Uh, rotate as an action at any point. You can only ever do it during the system phase. So I know if you're if you are used to watching RZ two A wings, right? Boost rotate or you know focus rotate. Uh, that is not possible in the RZ ones. Canonically, the RZ ones you know shot backwards, but they were worse at it. So <laughs> it uh, it makes sense. It's uh, I, I, it's pretty thematic. Trash card. So Jake here, is he boosting away? A bit deity. Thank you so much. So yeah, it looks like Jake performing a red boost there in the uh, system phase. Oh, right tackle in the chat says you're a trash card. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Farmer, you know, hey Farmer, you want to you want to jump in? 
you, you you could I could let you talk directly uh, trash to Darren if you would like. Oh, do it. <laughs> he's not allowed to. He's moved in with his girlfriend now. He's not allowed to uh, play games or commentate. All righty. The Jedi Knights. Oh, he said yes. Got him. <laughs> hey, tag me tag me in the Gold Squadron uh, in general, and I'll, I'll give you the role to come say hello. Where's actually, my knock? Actually, I could probably just find him. What am I doing? So yeah, we've seen Wedge now facing down these uh, these Jedi, but the problem the problem is it's pretty isolated. So Jake on his own is not able to to help him out. I doubt Garvin's really going to be coming in. It's um, Moisture. I can't believe you. <laughs> what? I can't believe you. Why? You, you... You're over here making these hot takes. It's a trash card. You deserve to be trash compacted for those takes. Ooh, talk dirty to me. That's what I do, man. Yep. Hello, and welcome to the Minox. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. <laughs> We, we've uh, we've hijacked this this comment <laughs> booth. We've screed in here. That's screed. Oh, by by the way, farmer, I sold us to Dion for a dollar. He was the highest bidder. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> he he thought about it and was like, actually, we're, this is okay. I mean, listen, a dollar. You paid way over the the odds. A whole oh, absolutely. Dollar. I I told I told Dion he was taking on all of our liabilities. So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm like, he did right. us a favor. It's like when uh, the Dolphins traded for Brock Osweiler, but basically just traded money. Right. It's like, oh, let me see the books. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Look at these books. This is horrible. Like, shut, we, we, shut up. We've got dice rolling, but they're not rolling in, in the box. All right, box. Tell them. Tell them, Jonah. Get them. James. James should know better. Shame on James. So. Uh, should be Hera firing into Jedi Knight. Did we talk about why we think Garvin is in the squad other than he's an I-4 X-Wing? Oh, because him and Hera like to play volleyball with uh, with focus? Oh, so it's like we're it's like Top Gun? Is that what's happening? What? Um, I, I don't know this reference. I'm sorry. Playing with the boys when they play the volleyball team? Yes. You know? Like, yes. Without their shirts on. High fives? And playing volleyball. But slapping, it, it is quite possibly the most homoerotic <laughs> scene in cinema history. It, I, I mean, am, it's up there. I am all for it. They're just being friends with Freddy Focus. That's right. It's like you pass, it's I pass. It back and forth. It's a really, really great uh, combination. Really a fan there. By the way, I got, I got a quick sneak in. A quick thanks. Uh, looks like M Derva, Kellyana. There's a sub battle happening right now. Lots of fives and twos here. Thank you so much, Steven Spikes. Next attack coming in. One hit from Wedge going into the Jedi Knight, and there's an evade. So, Farmer, congrats on the girlfriend, by the way. Oh man, are we making that? Is that like something we were gonna say to all 578 people? I guess. I guess that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> she's incredible and great. Things are awesome. There you go. <laughs> Range two. And got the trail mix going into the yellow Jedi Knight. I mean, I've met you. It's an achievement. I mean, it really is, though, if we're talking real talk. Ryan has never been convinced that he's a catch. I've always been convinced. Just needed to wait for the right person. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of trash in the ocean, so technically he is a catch. <laughs> it's true. True. <laughs> Darren taking my very wholesome takes and just twisting my words. Classic. Classic, classic, classic. <laughs> this is the no. most fun I've had listening in on commentary. <laughs> this is great. I mean, normally it's your parents talking about you, Jonah, so. God, I, I don't I don't know how Darren got this job. Like, I'm being honest. <laughs> Dion is so wholesome, and he's allowed this 
horrible human. It's <laughs> yeah, just absolute filth. Onto he the, the he behaved better last time. I put him in a timeout for like months. He so needs to be in timeout again. What is I, happening? I mean, <laughs> you you might He's, not be wrong. And it's not. It's just. It's it's his his takes are bad. The only thing he's good at is cooking. Hey, I stand by the fact that Vectored Cannons is a trash card. Well, we'll see who wins this game. Yeah, we absolutely will. He'll just claim victory when it when it's not the way he thinks it is. It's fine. It's well, okay. the thing is, like theoretically, these RZ ones should be doing uh, should do okay against these Jedi Knights because a lot of times where these five A wing squads and whatnot can can run into issues is only having those two attack dice meaning that um it's hard to punch through the, the that um three agility but these seven b's with that reduced agility they should be able to you know hopefully chip some damage through but it's a tall order to get half points on them it's tough to um get these good shots uh, jonah could you check really quickly to see i know they're moving really fast did they ignore wedge's ability or I'll check. Mm -hmm. they're, they're moving re really fast, but it might be to their detriment. <laughs> See, Farmer coming in here, waving it around. Mm, look at me. My name's Moisture. I've got a girlfriend. This is... You, Farmer, he's just jealous. That's all. He's, oh, absolutely. It's jealousy. He said it was range three, uh, so they're good. All right, cool. It was on yellow. I believe him. Oh, absolutely, Timo. Timo's right. So if A-Wings lose, you've got to rename the Facebook group of Fly Better to the Darren Granger fan club. I'm not renaming the Facebook group ever again. Shh, that was, a, that was a, a dumpster fire. That was... <laughs> a, I... I... Ah. So what you're saying is you, you're I'll, not confident enough. I'll totally do it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> do, do it, dragon. I've revoked your rights and I can revoke them again. Well, <laughs> I don't like it when mommy and daddy fight. And it's fine. This is this is this is that top tier top tier content right now. <laughs> now now uh, Ryan since since we got you here, who who's hey, your buddy. I I miss you first. I miss you too. First and first first. Yes. Soon, soon. I'll see you soon. Soon. Um who who do you like in this matchup and why? It's really tough. Um, as much as I uh, am enjoying, you know, the the discussion around vectored cannons, um, I, you know, I haven't seen. It's tough to see what kind of impact they're going to have on the the RZ ones. Uh, the my gut says that I really like these Delta Bs with Obi Wan, and I especially really love the Ada twos. Um, I think that they're underrepresented. In mm -hmm. terms of the, you know, the amount they're being played, I think that they are the. I think they are right up there with the best ships in the whole game. Mm -hmm. um, and we've seen these Jedi Knights have a, honestly, like, massive impact on recent tournament results. So on the surface, I like Kenneth's chances here mm -hmm. just because of how much work these um rz2s are going to need to put in that being said uh to hedge myself a little bit i like the tracers on hera to give these double mods uh to the rest of the the squad and the inclusion of garvin is actually really interesting as well to give you that extra three die punch yep um and you can never underestimate the flexibility of having four i4s move whenever they want and get the potential to initiative kill one of these jedi knights because all of these guys are essentially aces now uh there's a lot of action economy happening so if kenneth does want to um come out on top on this he's got to really make sure that he can use those jedi knights effectively as blockers more yep. than aces yeah, so, I, yeah I, mean, I love it. One of the challenges with the uh, the vectored cannons is you because it's done in the system phase. You're telegraphing. Yeah. So, Obi Wan's kind of okay with that because he can he can also move in the system phase after they've done the um, rotation of their cannons. So, but these Jedi Knights they're very very maneuverable and as you as you say, 
being able to put themselves in a position where they can block um, and also to have the double reposition, okay, they're using the force, but they're pretty tanky. Now, one of the interesting things with the Jedi Knight and the being prevalent with the focus on hyperspace lately, one thing that I, I, I've been kind of theorizing is when we get back into more of the extended meta, right? We, we have upcoming the, the Galactic Championship Series, which is majority extended. The championship is extended. Is the Jedi Knight at Initiative 3 something that we're going to end up seeing more of because people saw that it does have some utility? Or are there some, yeah. ga- or are there some gatekeepers that are going to make... Because obviously people are going to say, oh, look, I can fly Obi-Wan and, uh, and Plo Koon again. Uh, or, or is there... Are, are there some gatekeepers that are keeping the Jedi Knight out of extended? I think the 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 major gatekeeper for Jedi Knight is just the increase in variety you have for the I fives and I sixes, and I actually think that once um, we get a little more, uh, what's the word? Uh, more people get comfortable with Suntir and Sienna Re and more Imperial I6s, and we see uh, an elevation in initiative again, I th- and kind of the, the rubber band pull itself back the other way, we will see Jedi Knights potentially have stocks down. Mm-hmm. But that's, I mean, that's just my hot take on, on that situation. Uh, X-Wing has continually and always been a tug between uh, I-1 and i6 or you know min min initiative and max initiative and there hasn't always been like we have now we're in a bit of uncharted territory it's been rare that we've seen the success of the the mid initiatives which is what we've seen a lot in hyperspace um it's been honestly really refreshing to see usefulness come out of having things that are a little bit higher yeah which may lend credence as to why we're not seeing very many seven and eight ship swarms right now that's just true. Yeah, you got the you got the Inquisitors. Uh, you got these Jedi Knights. You got I mean, we, we Gar- have Nantex. Garvin. Yeah, even even yeah. I, I know that. Yeah, even some of the 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 lower initiative Nantex, uh, Grievous. Right, like Grievous yeah. was, was 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 not even played, not even put on the table uh, until really the hyperspace meta started to evolve. So it's just uh, yeah, Baron. Yeah, exactly. The Tyve ones, the Barons. Oh, there's there's so many things in this mid initiative that have seen some light of day. And I'm, again, really curious to see where we end up settling out. I know Galaxy a, is a long stretch. It goes all the way till November, right? That's our yeah. our, our end of year uh, big celebration here. But like, it's it's going to be interesting to see where we are because right now, I would agree, in X-Wing, even going back to first edition, the middle initiatives were very rarely, if ever, played. Well, I think one of the problems in first edition was because it went all the way up to 10 11 12 the middle <laughs> there was so much parody there right like there was so much uh, uh the the uh, having it compressed to one to six really means that e- every initiative point matters just that much more right mm-hmm. there's a yeah, lot of value in each the, of those they said that in the design philosophy there was so much gap yeah. in the middle that it just became irrelevant yep so like, can i Sorry, go ahead. I was say, we might see an interesting piece here with um, Shara Bay using that um, system phase boost to potentially try and get the block off on the uh, that Jedi Knight there, but uh, the Jedi Knight turning away. Um, it would have been interesting if Shara Bay had got the block on there from the uh, from the uh, vectored cannons. Um, it's a great card. I've said it all along. Um, that actually it gives you that ability to uh, to reposition in the system phase. And here's Wedge. Zoom in here. Five straight. Getting out of the way. Just going to go ahead and slap down the And this is where you see sort of that downside of, um, I mean, not being in RZ2. In this situation, yeah. Wedge could have potentially, if you were in RZ2, focus rotated, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and, you know, he might get a shot on Obi-Wan here, uh, which is maybe what James wants, which is fine. But we talk about can those vectored cannons be effective on the RZ1s? And you look at the card and you're like, oh, this basically makes them RZ2s, but the huge flexibility that those RZ2s have with the time on target of being able to do the the focus rotates means they're getting range one shots on shit more often than you'd think. Yeah, because it gives them the shots on the uh, the disengage. 
they right. don't really have to do the uh, the telegraph. But it's it's not the it's not necessarily the the focus rotate. It's the boost rotate. That too. Yeah. And um, just being able to reposition and then uh, rotate your uh, your arc. So we've seen Garvin there taking the uh, the bacon cloud, uh, dropping himself at range one of that uh, Jedi Knight. And he's going to be taking a strain there, so that's going to be a range one, 4v1 shot when it comes around. Yeah, that's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Just, just slightly unfortunate that the uh, green Jedi Knight bumped with their K-turn. Mm -hmm. um, but it does look like they may get a shot, but I, mm, I, I suspect that Hera's going to roll out of arc there. I really like the, the KG uh, Obi-Wan play at the top of the board, by the way. Um... You have to be conservative with these Adas. They are mm -hmm. not Dale Cromwell ships, to be sure. <laughs> Insert Dale, watch me. <laughs> um, All right, it's going to be why, race why is three obstructed Hera... here really quick. Ah, uh, will she be firing the... How can Hera be firing her arcs out the back? She has the uh, Thread Tracers. Thread Tracers is a front ah. arc weapon. It does not lock... Um, yep. the, the vectored cannons does not force her to use the back arc only for missiles. Which uh, is another yeah. reason, I might add, why I am a massive fan of Prockets on the RZ-1s with, with and without vectored cannons, but especially with the vectored cannons, because, you know, you can get in situations with the, your, your Prockets where you're, you can still get those front arc shots off even if you're, you catch yourself in the, with uh, your rear arc in the back. Uh, Shara Bay did have a shot bounce off of Obi Wan, no damage there. We got two hits potentially coming in. Wedge on Obi Wan, push stuff. and safe. I By think the... sometimes people forget the math on what evade force looks like for these Jedi. Yeah, evade um, force and the uh, the gas cloud there. It's just yeah, yeah, and that's why I well, think um, is it Shack T that lets you keep the evade. I mm -hmm. think so, yeah. Yes. So there we've yeah. got Jake going into this Jedi Knight. Blanks out, takes a shield. All right. By the way, shout out to Kelliana and Lambolo. They are having a sub battle in the chat. And we were, it's happening in the middle of our discussion here. But thank you guys so much. They are at 185 uh, them with everybody else who's subbed. And here's that Jedi Knight Ooh. throwing four into Hera Syndulla, and she's taking three Half of the points. four. Half Man. points and a little bit. I'm really surprised that she didn't arc dodge out of that. Yeah, I'd have thought she'd have barrel rolled away, but then yeah. again, she, she wouldn't have had the, uh, the thread tracer shot. So I guess that's what she was going for. Man, I mean, that seems fine to me, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't have taken the range one shot there. And here's the red Jedi Knight. Going into Jake. See if we can have another repeat of that. And that, that could force. be another full string. Three and hits. Yep. Yeah. Now this is the one I'm worried about. The, this yellow Jedi Knight. Range <laughs> yeah, one into the range into Garvin. Garvin. Just underestimated consistency with these jedi knights nope. man oh no 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 going he's going at jake is it range two uh no range three. So oh my goodness on he, fire yeah he managed to squeak one in there there was no no modifiers on jake and shout out here to land bolo and isofane uh combined bringing us to 211 looks like we got max giveaways at the end of this round slash beginning of the next one we got i got a lot Joining of stuff to do fray. I don't agree with the shot there. It's Jake. Yeah, I agree. I agree with your disagreement. Yeah. It worked out, though. <laughs> it should have gone into Garvin. Garvin was yep. strained. He's at range one. You've got four dice. Chances are you could take half points on him. Yeah, I I agree. And he, I'll also say this, too. Um, with Garvin with Hopeful on as well, by killing these RZ2s, that just helps Garvin. Yeah. You know, now, now really quickly, a quick first. reading of hopeful just for anybody who's not familiar with it. After a friendly ship at range zero to three is destroyed, if that ship was limited or has hope, whole has the hopeful upgrade, you may perform a focus or a boost action. And remember, it doesn't matter if the boost is on the action bar or anything to do with Garvin's wings. It is simply executing that action because the card says so.
Yeah, I think I think Garvin, Garvin and Hera are probably the the two target priorities. Well, Hera's only at one right now, which is if you're Kenneth, you like to see that for sure. Um, because she's the only one who can maybe bully Obi Wan. Yeah. Difficult to pin her down now, though, because um, Jedi Knight three difficult position. Uh, same with uh, red and red and yellow, possibly could chase her. I don't know. Um, I think red and yellow are in really good position to do conservative movements here and mm -hmm. still get a shot on her. Yeah, yeah. I think I think red probably the one or the two bank. Um, <laughs> the one bank fit, so yeah, just jump over. But uh, it's whether um, we see the uh, the system phase boost from Jake, which could be interesting. Because uh, uh, a system phase one bank boost from Jake, I believe that would give him the ability to give a focus to Garvin. And then Garvin can do a K-term. Mm. So there is some synergy there. I'm not saying it's it's still a trash card. I, I, I almost said it wasn't, but it's still... It, it doesn't make them the RZ2A wings. Um, that They're different. And, and I get it, but I, I don't think... Well, I think the, the thing you have to weigh is how much cheaper they are than the RZ2s. Yeah, no, absolutely. But how many points is the Vector Cannons? One. Just one point. And yeah, it's yep. standardized. So, I mean, it's going to cost you maybe five for, or four in this case for the whole squad. Yeah, and it's good that you put um, a card out under each one because, you know, some people disagree with putting a card out under each one. And... <laughs> Uh, some people say you I'm gonna to. fight that fight, and I think it's I think it's dumb. Um, Ryan, I I I think you have to have all the cards too. I'm sorry, I love you. Yep, gotta have all cards. Uh, but it's it's mo it's mostly because I am a dummy, and I will forget. I'll look over at your card and be like, oh, this one doesn't have vector thrusters, even though or vector cannons, even though I know in my mind it's supposed to be standardized. Again, I am not smart. So, so, so it's. Uh, I think it's more of a, a visual, visual cue issue. And I mean, how many come in the box? I don't. I don't. I haven't cracked it open. There's three. Three. I mean, not bad. You, you plan on if you plan on flying five of them, it's it's really only a problem for you. But I mean, if you're willing to fly five RZ one A wings, you're probably not too hung up on buying two of the boxes anyway. Probably. Absolutely. Not. I mean, not everybody, of course. But or you could just and win Ryan. one on the giveaways. Hmm? Hmm? To answer Ryan's question, by the way, a base RZ2 is 30. Oh, I just lost it. Base RZ2 is 33, and a base RZ1 with vectored cannons is 29. So it's a four point difference off the bat. Yeah. So there we see the actual uh, system phase boost by Jake. Mm -hmm. um, should have a stress down because it is uh, a red boost, but he does then able to, he is then able to pass the focus over to Garvin. Which makes me think Garvin can quite easily do the K turn here now um, to still have his ship ability, his pilot ability, sorry, um, and still have time on target. So there, uh, the, there's some synergy there. Um, we've seen the rotate there by Shara Bay. So I would anticipate probably a four or five straight uh, just to get some distance uh, and spread that arc wide. But I, it's, it's going to be difficult to pin down Obi Wan here. Um, and then there's the system phase boost by Obi Wan. And, and you know what? M more of these repositions in the system phase. I want to say I really I'm a, I'm a fan of them. Um, you know, not having perfect information all the time is is what makes the game exciting. But the more repositions that we do have there, the there there now become some counter plays. Like oh, you boost it, or I have the option to barrel roll at my initiative because it does go initiative by initiative in that system phase, right? One step at a time. Exclamation point! System phase for the definition of it. Um, you know, I, I I'm a fan, and yeah, Ob Obi Wan boosting there. Uh, do we think he's going to be turning in? Is this lies, deceptions, or is he is he bugging out? He's gonna bug out. He's gonna bug out. I, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him kind of hard to in towards Wedge. Like a crazy person. But I, I don't know. I can't see through the lies of the Jedi. But um, oh, okay. We're talking about the talking about system phase um, moving and shenanigans. 
there's a guy that I play with quite regularly, uh, um, Ian Baker, who uh, makes made really good use for quite a while with um, Cad Bane mm-hmm. on um, what's the uh, Amon Azamine? That's the one. Yeah, uh, really, really good use, and that 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 system phase boost is just horrible, especially on a medium based ship. Uh, people in the chat talking about one of the issues right now is just getting a hold of a box at all. Uh, yeah, understand. I mean, like right now, it barely matters, right? Like if you're if you're playing a casual night, just like get get your get your uh, Ryan Farmer sixty second card on and just draw right vector thrusters on a piece of paper, cut it out. You're good. There it is, baby. Oh, okay. Was that a Ryan Farmer card on? Get your card on, baby. Okay, I just want to check that the, the it was card and not a different word. That's like, listen, man. Not everyone. This is a not everyone has all the cards. You got to yeah. draw them. That's right. Yeah, you just got to draw those proxies. That's right. And um, yeah, just just loving it. I, just... I really hope that Obi Wan's turned in here. Ooh. Okay, going for the talent roll. Now, remember, talent rolls on these Ada 2s are purple. So this is not a red maneuver. Simply cost a force. But Obi-Wan right now is uh, is sitting at range 1 of Sharabe's back arc. Here's the focus as an action. Uh, no, no that's, sorry, that's uh, the ability. Excuse that's, me. That's uh, an Obi-Wan ability. I think we're going to see a barrel roll here to get some distance away from Sharabe. Mm-hmm. Still going to be getting shot, um, though. But he might be barrel rolling into Garvin's arc. you got to watch out. I think he was aiming for the bullseye there, and he might actually have it on um, uh, on wedge. These Ada twos can just be wherever they want. Yeah, absolutely. Like pick them up, place them down. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Yes, they said yes. Yeah, I'd love to see the guy in Dial Gate fly one because he literally could then put it out wherever he wanted. <laughs> Man, you're just coming in with every take. Just I've uh, emboldened you. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, people salivate over Soon Tier, right? Like, the Soon Tier meme is everywhere. And these Ada 2s are, like, like, I think, I mean, double reposition, double reposition, but, like, they are so good. And if you are worried about like not having perfect information, just put sense on one of them. Whatever, it's fine. So here we, mm-hmm. here we go. We've got Obi Wan going range one bullseye into wedge. Four dice coming in, and Obi Wan does have predator. There's the reroll. Got three. Yes, three. And wedge is going to be taking two damage there. Excuse me, one damage. Uh, just one. So that's the first shield there. Not quite half points. I see some people in the chat talking about the fact that they're cracking Lambolo, saying I'm cracking open my box right now. Yeah, I've managed to get the the scum and the rebel. I don't have the Imperials because they're they're not available here in the UK at the moment, as far as I can tell. Quick thing: there are four vectored cannons, not three. Four. There so you go. One. If you buy sh- two, you'll have the max. But I need more for epic. Actually, no. That that I think is eight. The the, <laughs> the max. The max and epic. Uh, yeah. One Probably crit. Clean there. We're gonna target lock here on that Oop. additional die, and did not yep. come up with anything. Just a single result needs a blank out and not getting it. Garvin probably goes into yellow. Hey Jonah, what's the points total for James List? James is coming in at 196 points. Cool. Spend the focus and you give that to Jake. I don't you give it to Hera because, yeah, why wouldn't you? Spending the force takes shield on uh, on yellow. Now, really, you've got a choice of... Uh... <laughs> I just got an a interesting PM from D, Ryan. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> what did he say? Bless, bless you. Thank uh, you. I, I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text you. We'll get your live reaction. See, I, I don't, I don't agree with uh, going into Jake here. I've gone into Garvin again. But two crits can spend the focus from Hera.
Jedi Knight. Oh, doesn't have Garvin. Mm-mm. Just a bit outside. <laughs> Range three through the cloud. Trail mix should should be fine. Should be fine, even with the force expenditure. Uh, you've got a lock though as well, so. Mm, I, I mean, Her it. Hera could. No, I, I don't. I think you hold on to it. Yep, yeah, right there. You're not always right, but when you're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, please tell me D's changed the name on the Facebook group already. D and I have an understanding. <laughs> yeah, he's told me about your open relationship. It's, it's okay. quite open, but the, the main understanding is that if he changes the name, it'll make me sad. <laughs> and no one wants sad farmer. Sad. I want sad farmer. All right. Do you really? No, of course I don't. And sad farmer, the moisture is for his tears. It's true. <laughs> well, this took uh, an yeah. interesting turn. Uh... <laughs> I love um, that Jonah's bullying farmer. Jonah, Hello, Ryan. I'm nice. Jonah. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> We're best friends. Yep. Jonah's 100%. not allowed friends. Uh, yeah, Darren is apparently my stepdad, uh, as I've learned today. So. Oh, he's the dad he that went out to get cigarettes and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that, wow. That's about right. <laughs> So thank you everybody for watching this <laughs> wholesome stream. So what do we think here? I think red is probably just going to do a uh, like a one bank. So that's blue, maybe a two bank just to avoid that gas cloud. Mm -hmm. um, green's got to do a, a a hard one to ship left just to try and kind of come back around and be relevant. Um, I'm really disappointed he's not taking a shot against Garvin, who is stressed and strained. Um, because now he's zero consequences of that strain. And actually, it's probably the easiest ship to take out on the board. Mm -hmm. And a force multiplier. I'm just continually... Man, I'm just... I'm puzzled by choices made by both players so far in the game. Yeah. Uh, um, And, you know, it, it's tough because they were five rounds into this now. And so they've got their kind of experience of, of, of playing you know, these squads and I'm a very conservative player, right? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you know, I, am not as aggressive. I'm not Dale. I'm not, you know, uh, uh, like I, I probably would not have done that talent role with Obi-Wan. Right. Um, I probably would have done a five straight with him and flown him around and gone to the other side of the board and just bullied that way and had James chase me a bit. Um, but then again, um, there, you know, people want the, the, the chat wants violence. Yeah. I mean, Obi-Wan's in a good position now because um, the A-Wings are flying away from him. I think I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see Wedge in the system phase rotate his um, cannon to the rear. Obi-Wan probably just does a hard one um, and just tries to chase down Garvin. <laughs> the yellow Jedi Knight can put a block in on Garvin. It's, yeah, it's... There's a lot of options, but I'm... Well, yeah, there's also that line of thinking of, like, when you're being chased or mm -hmm. you are about to be chased, you undercut, right? Instead of going wide around the, the outside of the toilet bowl, you cut right in down the drain. And what that does is it can... That a more aggressive play can actually make you safer getting into, like, the eye of the storm, you know? Yeah, we've talked a little bit about the fact that just like arc dodging in and of itself, it's actually quite easier to do at range one than it is at range three. At range three, the arcs are way wider. And when you get up and up and up and personal, something as simple as a barrel roll could be like, all right, I'm fine now. Everything's safe. Yeah, I think yellow's got to be careful, though, because um, in fact, Jonah, I think just on the overlay, it needs to lose another shield. Um, it, it's one away from half. Um so yeah, it's it's twenty five points, um, and there's there's not really much in it between these uh, these two lists in terms of ship cost, but um, having just the uh, the two agility on the uh, Jedi Knights, I think if you start to lose one, it's then going to be trickier to them to start pushing damage through on these A wings. 
Yeah, right now, I'm... <sighs> I think the ship I'm the most worried about is definitely Garvin. You got all the other A-Wings are, are on an outward vector. They're, they're about to go to the outside of the board. And Garvin is firmly in the middle uh, with abilities, with paths for all for all the Jedi Knights and uh, Obi-Wan to end up, ex except for Green, uh, to get some shots here. But here we go. Shara. System phase boost to the left. Again, that's with vectored cannons. Gonna have to gonna take some time to get used to that. Okay, probably going in for the block there with the uh, yellow Jedi Knight, and it keeps his arc open for the uh, shot against Hera. Yep, barrel rolls to the left. Lies to the right. Directions are hard. Focus after the fine tune thrusters and oh, taking a lock here. I like it. I like it. I mean, Hera's likely bouncing. She's dip. I'm, su I'm surprised he didn't fine tune boost with the uh, the green Jedi Knight. Um, I think he wants to cut into the left next. He has the, he clearly has that path open, or at least wants to have the option. Because if you if you go forward, you you're you're playing your hand. I mean, even like the the red Jedi Knight is kind of overly committed to the top of the board at this point. You don't really have the room over. That hard one to the left maybe fits next turn. Um, I actually really like the positioning of the uh, of the green Jedi Knight. Because I mean, Hera's not going to be available. So, Darren, if you're James here, what, you know, we're, we got 23 minutes left in the game, right? Yep. Um, you, you're down a little bit. Uh, Jake and Wedge are one away from getting halved, and Hera's in a, a spot to potentially get bullied, maybe by Obi-Wan, etc. Um, what is your game plan for these next 23 minutes to try and win the game? I think you're going to have to bring the A-Wings back around. Um, and I honestly think it's it's going at yellow. Um, he's, the, he's the one that's vulnerable at the moment, but even still... You, you've got to take him off the board. It's it's tricky because of where he is with his ships, and because he doesn't have the doesn't have the time on target, as we've said with the um, the rebel A wings versus the resistance. It means that not only does he have to um, rotate his arc in the system phase. Once he's kind of engaged. He can't get the shots on on the. I'm not articulating this very well. He doesn't have the time on target on the on the way out. Um, so at the moment he's got Shara Bay and Wedge both pointing to the right hand side of the board, but only one of them's got the arc to the front. You've got Jake who's pointing to the left hand side of the board with his arc out the back, but he's firing through a gas cloud. Mm -hmm. And then you've got Hera coming back around now, which is kind of caught a little bit in between these uh, three Jedi Knights again. Yeah, I, hmm, it's, I'd be looking at, it's really, really hard. Uh, you don't, if you, if you were able to consolidate your firepower to bully Obi-Wan and get two off of him, that might be a, a way to look at it because that's a lot of points too. But otherwise, yeah, you got to prioritize getting that one shield off yellow and then maybe two shields off red, uh, prioritize getting the shots. You still have time and you still have all your ships, which yep. is good. And most importantly, Garvin is fully healthy and he's your three- Three gun, uh, yeah, your three can, red die gun. He's um, been irrelevant in, in the game. Is is the problem so get, far? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You need to get good quality focused shots with Garvin, turn after turn after turn. It's so important. I think it has to do p partially with the engagement lane, right? Because the A wings and Garvin, they they took this top lane and then cut hard into the left, facing right into this kind of uneven triangle where they had to all split apart. Uh, in different directions, and they just haven't been able to keep time on target. And um, you, you enter these situations, right, where, like, you have to K-turn almost at the wrong time. We, we have this situation where you're, like, bumping, you K-turn, now the enemy's out of arc. And then you, you – it's so like Garvin has just not been in sync with uh, with where he needs to be. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And um... – They've done a really good job with with Obi Wan with coming in. I'm a little disappointed that he didn't um, be more aggressive and come after Garvin this round, but uh, it looks like actually he's just making the play for Hera and ignoring Garvin for now. Here's a shot. We got hit crit. 
through a gas cloud with an evade in the force. It's N not yeah. likely to happen. And that was a uh, thread tracer, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the last uh, thread mm -hmm. tracer gone. They're both gone. Using those GSP helmet charges. By the way, super excited to ship those out to our top patrons here in the coming weeks. And one hit from Jake going into the Red Jedi Knight and safe. No problem. We're fine. How are you? And Garvin with no shot. Wedge just barely nicking Obi-Wan. I mean... The Obi-Wan play has been very strong, very cagey, and using the obstacles to uh, to his advantage. Kenneth Lyon just playing the patient game. I, and I think, Ryan, you re referred to it earlier. A lot of people like to uh, – there's a lot of jousters out there, right? They like to take these ships and like, sure. oh, I'm going to – I'm just I'm just going to – yeehaw, let's go. Uh, but that's that's how you get these <laughs> these uh, Ada 2s killed. All right, one hit uh, from the yellow lock. Jedi Knight. And – Converts Ooh. here for a full string, yeah. two hits, Hera. two crits in the Hera. She gone. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad news for James. Yeah. Fun walk. That's says, a lot of points off the table. I don't like how he talks about me. Am I talking about you right now, Jouster? Is that you? <laughs> I'm in this yeah. picture and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I like Obi Wan's position here now a little bit because he can, um, he can either do the talon roll or he can <laughs> uh, hard one to the left and start coming back in a round wedge, and then it puts um, effectively because wedge is going forwards with his guns out the front. Shara's gonna have to rotate her gun. Um, and then come in, and then Jake again probably going to have to rotate his gun and uh, turn to the right. Probably the hard two. Um, but then it, I suppose it probably then leaves Garvin either with a K turn or with a Talon roll mm -hmm. um, to then be behind these Jedi Knights, which isn't terrible, but he's still not getting quality shots. And if he's turning around, then he's he's not getting his focus token. Uh, uh, there's the hopeful trigger. Mm hmm. But it is a May. It is a May, yeah. He may just let him do it here. It looks like he is. I mean, it's a focus or a barrel roll. What's... Is it a boost? Were his wings closed? Oh, it is a boost action, sorry. It's a boost, so, yeah. Yeah, it's the... Sorry, it's the Imperials, which are barrel roll target lock, isn't it? Yeah. Now, right now, people are talking about the Choose Your Champion betting right now. Uh, I will say, going into this match, James was the favorite by 63%. And at the start, when you asked me who I liked, I, you know, it was tough, but I, I would have I had a hard time going against Kenneth uh, just based on the strength we've seen from the Jedis and Obi Wan, you know, in the 8 of 2. I love those 8 of 2 so much. And uh, despite also loving RZ1s, um, these. I it, it's I, I would have hoped that he could have leveraged the initiative fours a little better against these Jedi Knights, but it's getting he's in a situation where he's got to start, you know, consolidating his dice and getting them into a place to maybe punch Obi Wan, get a shield off yellow, and try to get two hull on Obi Wan to pull back ahead in the game. With 16 minutes left, you have to start making lower percentage plays mm -hmm. that give you a higher percentage chance to win if that makes sense yep risk yeah, you, need the, you need the spike damage risk it for the biscuit lean into variance all, all these phrases so the question is do, do the jedi knights now just disengage um or do they actually just turn in towards the middle of the board are you asking me what the correct play is or what the fun play is well, I guess we found out straight away anyway. He's turned in. The correct play is to disengage. Yeah, the uh, 100% with these gas clouds, the correct yeah. play is to run and yeah. make it and put James into bad positions chasing you and then punish him for it later. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, he's choosing violence and he's given us a show. So I am <laughs> never going to disagree with that. Um, doing the uh, two sloop with the uh, the red Jedi Knight. So 
Uh, and we did see the rotation of the cannons from both Jake and uh, Shara. Now, Wedge flying up three straight, trying to keep that arc wide, hoping to catch something in the net. Right now, Wedge likely not able to uh, to fire at anything as he's you know either arc pointed the wrong direction um, or just giving the enemy side arc right now. Taking a focus, so he's not the obvious target. Might have been tempted by a target lock, but not quite yet. Uh, Garvin's closing his wings and making a hard to turn. Likely going to see him boost in between this, these gas clouds. Yeah, he's trying to bring him back around. I think I prefer the talent roll in that scenario. Ooh. If you're not going to disengage with... I mean, I get the violence is the, the answer for some of this. If you're not disengaging with all your... I don't know if I would have brought yellow in at the very least um, with that one shield. I think it's one of those... you with him you can just get away um it, it's risky because it doesn't it's not gonna take a lot it could take even just one shot to mm -hmm. get that get yellow's shield down especially if it's wedge because yeah which yep. we've got it here we've got hit crit two on two yep take shield you spend the force yeah so that is half point. Now, a quick note here. Remember, that's Wedge's ability. Minus one agility was range three. So three to four, back down to three with Wedge. Yep, correct. And here and we go. Shara Bay into the... Shara Bay. Now, this one's unlikely to hit, but you get half points. You, you've got those half points on that Jedi Knight, yeah. which is big for your oh. prospects. <laughs> All the focus is going to force him to, to spend no, something here. One. You got the one evade, right? Oh, it was just yeah. one. Sorry, I was thinking two. Now we got a shot into Wedge. Wedge able to hold on to the focus for defense. That's a Wedge have five dice. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. They spotted it. I see some people in the chat saying things like, you know, I've seen, I'm seeing them and I'm not that impressed. Ooh, I'm less than impressed. One hit. Um, Half points on which? Go ahead. Sorry, I, I shouldn't talk during dice rolling. I know better. <laughs> um, it's really important that you don't take the games you see on stream or, you know, the the hearsay from even people like myself and Dion and, and podcasts as gospel from this sort of stuff. If you're unsure about something, the only way for you to know whether you like it or whether it's good is for you to put it on the table because... The way James or the way anybody flies any of these ships is different than how you might fly them. Um, the way that we talk about them is only a singular perspective. It's not good to just kind of sheep your way through X-Wing. I think it's so important that, yes, you can net deck, but you understand why things work or why they don't work. But you definitely want to try things for yourself and try to figure out why something is or isn't working um, because as I've seen a lot on the stream, there are dissenting opinions on what the various decision making <laughs> that any player makes at any given time. Of course, and so, I agree and, and, with you about not listening to podcasters unless it's the Sith Taker Snapshot podcast, because they, they they only speak truth. All right, now what what I wanted to kind of play off of of what you were saying here, Ryan. Um, you know, a perfect example of of that is, you know, right now we look at the TIE V1 and everybody's like, of course that's a good ship. Of course that's a meta ship. Before the last Gen Con we had, yep. nobody was flying it. Matt Carey put that ship on his back and showed everybody, sure look, did. this ship is good. And all of a sudden now, it, you know, it is like common knowledge. Hey, the V1 is really good. Look at all these combinations you can do with it. Yep. When it, it was good the whole time. Just no, the greater public had not given it a chance yet. It takes one player to fly it one way to show us, hey, look, this is fantastic. And that happens all the time. Like, we have these broad concepts of X-Wing, right? You have mm -hmm. these broad concepts of things that are good. That, you know, hey, moving last is good. Hey, perfect information is good. Hey, dice mods are good, right? All the, that stuff we know. But it's kind of the under that blanket 
finding ways to get those same sorts of benefits that maybe aren't as clear that you really start to see things shine through which is why i could definitely see vector cannons being a place being good in certain situations in the future um because if you're able to leverage potentially in a sense squad or leverage a certain way these guys could be blockers which means they're getting you know that in and of itself preventing um defensive dice mods is a way of modding your opponent's dice in a way like it, uh not getting shot if you're able to block or um get yourself out of positions in the system phase at that low initiative it there is value there and i think that it might just take a little while to crack the nut or you know you know to hedge myself even more it might not be good at all who knows as darren says it might mm -hmm. just be absolutely trash but one tournament's not going to give us the information we need to draw those conclusions. Nope, what, this Alpharma, is, would this... it hurt you to uh, have an opinion? <laughs> yes. I, I got to start <laughs> listening to your podcast, man. Like, I'm learning well, the, so the, much this game. The Sith Take a Snapshot podcast. It's a great That's podcast. right. I am occasionally on it. Um, you should probably listen to those episodes. It's a good episode, um, or it's a good podcast. Do you recommend? But, um, no, you're absolutely right. And And just to kind of step back a little bit i know me saying it's a trash card uh that is me just being the personality that i am I, I i don't think there's any particular trash card at all i think there's a place for for most things it just takes someone to unlock it um and yeah everyone will say oh well it depends on the points and what's curated in the meta mm -hmm. um but i know that i am uh speaking to a largely american audience so i have to be sensationalist in what i say that's that's what wins in you with you guys isn't it <laughs> so we're moving we're moving on uh <laughs> yep. I, I think um, on, on another note dion have we seen a lot of disciplined and hopeful in this tournament at all uh we did see disciplined earlier it didn't quite work out uh but we also messed around with it on wednesday and it yeah. was clutch i it think discipline clutch. should be just stapled on every imperial ship that is able to use it if in my opinion that's one of those cards you know i was just mentioning like under the blanket how to get those benefits that's one of those cards that does that discipline more than hopeful because we yes. disciplined 100 percent discipline i think hopeful is yeah. really good too but i think discipline is just better i think it's a cut yeah. above well not only that it's the the likelihood of ships dying so in rebels they're yep. quite tanky they've got um shields they've got a lot of hull they're su they support each other yes imperials it's it's a scrub in a tie fighter that they're, they're disposable like of course <laughs> they can go Additionally, you know, some people are asking about what about Cutthroat. I think Cutthroat is the worst of the three, just because it's um, because it's so. What's the word I'm looking for? It's situational, niche. right? It's exactly niche. Uh, the uh, disciplined has the most amount of flexibility. It's also giving ships that potentially don't have target lock target locks in a situation where it normally wouldn't have except through this card um hopeful is is a good effect that you know focus can be beneficial boost can be beneficial but a lot of the rebel ships can already do those things and then you got cutthroat over here that's just that's recharging charges it's more uh it's 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 more part of that uh you know the combo wing so, you're, you're trying to get something to, off in order to black sun soldiers with cutthroat and uh tel Tavura. i'd like to see that just Tel Travora will not die. I mean, yes, yes, but no, right? At the, at the same time, because you're describing the type of list that a lot of time it's, it, it has is a cool trick. But if you break, if you break the trick, if you just kill Tel before the the other ones, before the Black Sun soldiers, your your trick is gone. But Tel comes back; he doesn't die. I mean, he dies eventually. Everything dies eventually, even the universe, Dion. What's your point? So, what you're <laughs> saying is, Dion, I just kill Tell first, he comes back, and then I just kill him again. I teach him this lesson, old man, again. Yep. And don't worry about his friends, and things are fine. Yep. Show him that you mean business. Uh, oh, that that's not a Zam reference. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Put Zam on Tell. Easy. Yeah, people I mean, in chat probably. now are getting PTSD triggers. <laughs> Obi-Wan currently doesn't have any shots. Here comes Wedge, likely going at the Green Jedi Knight range 2 with a focus. 
Yeah, you're looking to, you know, maybe get. Hey, the green to half. there you Take go. Two shields for hey, me. you took two yeah. shields. Just chipping away. I mean, the the points aren't impossible. You just got to keep working on it. And, and see, the thing is, now he's got shot with Garvin. This could be a dead uh, Jedi Knight. Well, these are the shots that you were trying to hopefully get from Garvin all game, right? Yep. yep. These range one, two to one focus shots. Like, that's pretty good. Now you can pass the focus. There is a crit slipping through there. Yes. Garvin onto that Jedi Knight. And the crit... Damage sensor array. Was damage sensor array. Let's go ahead and get that up on the screen. We can only focus. This is an action now. That does take away fine tune controls. Yep. Until and it's Shara fixed. Getting, of Shara getting a range one shot. Look this, at whether she wants to spend the focus or not. This is on that same ship, by the way. Yep. Is the dice box not showing up? Oh, it's, it's there. It's... Okay. You absolutely spend the focus here with Shara. Uh, she might be worried about the fact that you got the the green Jedi Knight on her tail, right now. But you're trying down to hold by so many points, yeah. you know. Right, like, what's right. the math say? I don't get. I don't. Don't tell me the odds. Just, just go with your gut. You can prove anything with science and numbers doesn't mean it's true. Because if he, you know, if he can do the two to the green and initiative kill it, that's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. what, what What's the math? What's your gut say on the math, Dion? There, on the likeliness to do it. To, yeah. to one shot the A-wing, uh, unlikely. No, not one shot the A-wing. I mean, uh, kill this. If he spends a focus, nope. what's the likelihood of this oh, yellow dying? Dude, well, he just did. One hundred percent. One hundred percent likely. Yeah. <laughs> Guarantee that there's a hundred percent chance of killing that Jedi. Hence why I said spend it. Don't 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 do it. Don't work out the, the math. Just go with your gut. If you believe it, it'll happen. And that's how I would have. I also would have spent the focus. Um, yeah. Fun now, fact. here's a range one shot. Let's see if Shara is punished for spending the focus. No, zero consequences. The dice won't punish her for it. It was zero consequences. Current score, 49 to 63. Here come the four dice. That Jedi does have Through a focus. Through the cloud, though. Through the cloud. So there is a mod there. That is going to be a four string. See, three evades and a blank. Oh! <laughs> 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 Prophetic! <laughs> Oh, my goodness. the force is strong with this one. Oh, my God. And that's don't that's don't encourage him. Works. Don't encourage him. <laughs> nope, that, that's how the force is works. requesting natties in the chat. I'm just requesting natties. In the chat. <laughs> that's, that's not natties, though. That that was. Yeah, you're getting calls now that it's scripted. Yeah, you know, I don't like this season of Gold Squadron. No, can we? I want to talk to the writers, please. <laughs> the dark, <laughs> the dark the timeline. <laughs> The contrived drama is too much. Uh, you, Who do I you, pay you, off to change this? <laughs> uh, if you send me a picture of the front and the back of your credit card, I will fix it for you. Well, you're gonna you're gonna be able to buy yourself a real nice half a candy bar. <laughs> Thanks. Well, half you know you know what's gonna what's gonna before. be great, Ryan. Um, speaking of of the writers' room and and creating drama, have you heard of Gold Squadron Paint Wars? Oh, um, you know what's funny about that, Dion? What I Gold Squadron Paint Wars is that idea is something that I'm so glad you're doing because I've wanted a painting competition. I watched so much Forged and Fire and Chopped, yes, and, like a competition show for everything, and I always wonder like what a mini painting one would look like, and I'm always like, no one will ever back this, <laughs> like no one will ever make this, but I'm very excited for Paint Wars. Sounds amazing. Yep. And I know I give you a load of stick farmer, but actually you do really well with your uh, MCP stuff. Oh, thanks, man. I, I am impressed. I know it takes a lot to impress a man with facial hair as groomed as yours. It's not like groomed at the minute. We've been in lockdown for a year. I know it's not. Um, I think James is right in this, if we're being honest, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it can swing. Like um, forty nine, he's super in this. Yeah, send, sending yellow in there was difficult, and then not getting the hell out of there. Um, yeah, because if he gets one shield on green, he takes the lead, right? Yeah, this is true. Or two Honestly, shields on red, one away. Honestly, I think red 
does a five straight towards the board edge. Yeah, red needs to just get get, get out of there. Green does a three bank towards the uh, the board edge and just boosts yep. barrel rolls. Gets I agree. Cloud. You run. And and Obi Wan does a hard three towards the board edge and boosts and just gets in that corner. Hard That's how you win the game. Yeah, hard yep. turn this, towards the board edge. This is going to be the last. This is going to be the last round, for sure. I mean, credit to James if he. Uh, sorry, credit to Kenneth if he does turn in. But, but that's not how you win games. No, that's not how you make cuts. He might be doing the honorable thing, but he's doing the stupid thing. And that's why sometimes doing the right thing isn't always doing the right thing. I, um, I'll never forget one of my first regionals I was ever in. I was in a play-in game for cut, and I had the game won, right? Like, all I had to do was just run away. And instead, I spent the last three rounds, like, trying to honorably, like, kill the last ship, and he ended up I let him back in the game and he won. So, <laughs> like, you know. Oh, it was all for you, Ryan. Oh. No, they don't mean you, Farmer. They mean Stanazuski. No. Yes. <laughs> they mean me. No, he's the best, Ryan. I'm I'm not no, I'm not debating that. You know, Ryan, something that we're gonna have to do one day is we're gonna have to have a culmination of all the Ryans. And do uh, bring bring all you guys to the GSP studio, and uh, and have have a, a battle of the Ryans. I think this has to happen. Well, Stanizuski and Fleming are both better players than me, so. Ooh, but I mean the content. So that's true. Content. <laughs> he, he did it. He he did he he, he didn't disengage. He, he didn't oh, disengage. Wow. He brought oh, him in boy. the risks. Oh no! Oh no! Kenneth, my guy, what are you doing? idiot for honor <laughs> for glory kenneth. yeah kenneth. He's for honor, but kenneth man, what, Ken, what you know what kenneth is done. done uh time went off and they're they're just fooling around now talking to oh. each other about the post game oh they already called the game wait what that they're aren't they in Battle the middle off. what do you mean it went off it went off like a while what what unless Jonah, what is, they're, they're, they're literally playing the last turn right now they're showing each other what they would have done. No. Oh. What? The timer was okay, still now, going. Now they're saying they're playing it out. At first it was just like, oh. what did you do? What did you do? Now they're playing it out. Uh, I'm so confused. The game that the game wasn't over. There was the writers. <laughs> they were still they were still we... in the planning phase when it went off and then they were just uh that's they, not... they were done and then That's not yeah, how the decided. planning phase is still the last round. Right, but it, according to, but the 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 turn the table timer does not indicate the end of the game for the planning phase. Only the round timer, the global timer. Twenty. There's still twenty seconds left on the global timer. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, like my. this is literally an official. Whatever happens here, this is like the real thing. Uh, self Obi Obi self wrecked. Moved. Yeah, Obi Wan never moved. <laughs> 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 judge judge hello okay they they were messing with me they're done kenneth isn't even at his computer anymore <laughs> they're done i'm so confused what what happened the timer went off and that's it okay all right well it's all right they'll clear this out in post edit they'll, they'll just edit it out it's fine <laughs> make it look like it isn't a fix Okay. Uh, I want my money back. I want to speak to the manager. <laughs> so this is a Wendy's. I thought it was a Darren's. It is now, because guess what? The A Wings lost. Uh, I, Adam, <clears throat> Adam, I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with you in, in the chat. I mean, it's a pretty odd, like just. Uh, I'm I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because it's literally just not like just not reading. It is. Pre it's pretty clear. The global timer. If the global timer goes off and you're in the planning phase, the game is over. Your table timer runs as long as it is. It's independent. It's not that hard of an idea. Sorry if I sound grumpy. I'm really tired. I only got two hours of sleep. I love you. That is all. But anyway. Also, we've got a quad force of D going on today. We've got Dion. We've got Darren. We've got Dion. And then we've got the Irish, Daryl. <laughs> That's a lot of Ds. Yep. And that is why you're in here as well, Farmer. All about mm -hmm. that D. 
<laughs> um, and to add her, to answer the the Lord, well, the, the Lord of Britannia's question, yes, the only way to get to the Galactic Championship, the culminating event, the battle for Alderaan, is to win an invite. That is all. That's it. It's invite only. Got to get that top thirty-two. <laughs> 